Hello everyone, it is about 4 o'clock in the morning here, and uh, I could not sleep, um, not because I'm excited about things, but uh, I just have a lot on my mind and I figured I'd talk about it, because uh, yes, I'm very excited to go to Orlando, but um, I, I just... I've been in therapy for quite a while now, and talking about my issues that I have yet to, uh, to just really talk about who I really am, and today I ran into an old friend from when I was about 16 years old, and I'm 36 now, and I just didn't think I would be, I thought I would be in a different place at this age, completely different than where I am now, and I'm just uh, having a lot of feelings because I'm really disappointed in myself, and over the last several years I've done a lot of stupid, stupid things <clears throat> and let my family down a lot, and uh, even talking on here makes me nervous because I know they'll watch it and be like, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? And I just feel like I I don't talk. I barely talk about what I'm really feeling and I make a lot of artwork and I do a lot of videos and hide behind this kind of mask that I put on. So I've been these in these uh, psychosocial rehab support groups lately. It kind of helps you peel off that mask a little bit and just be like, okay, this is how I really feel. And how I really feel is that I'm very, very, very disappointed in myself um, because I really believed in my capabilities more than than what I've shown. And uh, I know it's, it's never too late. But, uh, I'll just, I just, I just wish I, I could have done things differently. I wish, you know, I know that a lot of things are out of my control that prevent me from succeeding. Um, and, and these are things that are out of my control completely. But I can say that, uh, I have put in enough effort, um, to really show that I care about, uh, you know, other people, about myself, about my family, and and that comes from a genuine place. But uh, I've gone to random support groups that I don't fit in with because it just like it's not for me, but, um, the psychosocial rehab one has been really helpful because they concentrate most on, on mental health, and I've had some severe, severe issues that have prevented me from keeping, uh, stability in my life. So if you look through my videos, I do tend to express myself in that way, where it's just see an underlying depression there but um it's very very hard for me to vocalize this but I do have a mental illness that I hide very well and I've been trying to hide it for so long and I've been living with it for so long and then you know people just started pointing it out to me you need medication you need medication and I refused it for the longest and um I just thought I could tough through it. I really, truly believed that. And, um, I couldn't. I was sinking. So, and I just got worse and worse. And that's the part, the part where I'm really disappointed in myself. Because I just never thought that I'd be in such a bad situation. And, uh, like, there was... This is so embarrassing. But there was a time that I, uh... I was at work on the phone answering calls and I literally blacked out for a minute from the stress <coughs> and um, ended up calling out because I had an emergency and saying I had an emergency but I couldn't vocalize that it was me I was the problem 
Um, I said I had a family emergency, something like that. But literally, I was on the phone, and I remember saying something that made no sense to whoever I was talking to, and pulling myself back out of it and being like, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Like, literally. So, I have schizoaffective disorder, and you may not be able to recognize it in me, but that's me. And, and people keep saying things like, well, you should watch a beautiful mind, and you know, what happened with that guy? And I was like, I feel very bad for that guy, because he had schizophrenia, minus schizoaffective disorder, which is like bipolar disorder and schizophrenia mixed up. So you have both, and it's really, like, I'm annoying. <laughs> but he has schizophrenia, where he would have full-blown hallucinations. And, um, I know, I, I, I never, like, saw things that weren't there. I would see shadows and things like that sometimes. But I, I never, um like had an imaginary friend or anything like that you know what I mean I never I've been able to contain this but I, I kind of worry if it's going to get worse or not and they say it does so um I'm I'm pretty scared for the people in my life that are counting on me to come back from this I'm not saying I can't come back from this I'm not saying I'll I'll, I'll you know be this way forever I I just I feel like this is the reality of who I am and the people that know me are just going, I just, this is who I really am and it's really hard to talk about. So um, I know I've let a lot of people down and I'm sorry. So uh, I'm still going to Disney World. I'm still going to make videos and I'm still going to keep drawing and going to um, psychosocial rehab, which has been very helpful. <sighs> but uh, it's very hard to explain. But that's all I just I just wanted to let you know. Because that's who I am. That's why you never hear anything from me, but I'll try to talk more and um, see who cares. <laughs> Most people don't. Thanks, guys.